Unlike Apple Classroom, the Jamf Teacher app is more permanent and planning for ahead of time. So the way that you use Jamf Teacher is going to be you're going to create a lesson ahead of time, assign it to your classes. It's really able to lock down your students once they're in the class. But with great power comes great responsibility. You have to make sure that you turn those classes off and those restrictions off when your students leave class or those restrictions will travel with your students all day, including home. So to find the Jamf app, you're going to look for Jamf Teacher. It is a red app. It looks like this guy right here. So if you just click it open, this will be your home screen. What you'll see on the left is a bunch of options, and then you'll see your classes. I've got just one here, but uh, you'll see all of your classes. So for those of you who are in Unified Arts or other specials or reading teachers, I apologize for all the classes that you have that's tied into PowerSchool. Let's go down the left-hand side. So first of all, the classes option will give you this home screen, which will show you all of your classes. And then lesson templates is second. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Under my resources, this is something you might want to take a look at. These are all of the district approved apps that you can get. All you have to do if you want Class Dojo, for example, is to tap on get. This is just for the teacher apps. You can't do that for students. App requests, app updates is important too. Please, if you have not updated your machine, either your laptop or your iPad recently, please do so as soon as you're done watching this video. Make sure you're doing that relatively frequently to keep your iPad safe and your Mac as well. And the help guides are also pretty handy. So let's go back to classes now and we'll dive into a class and we'll tell you, show you what it looks like. So if I tap class, I've got one student in this class, so all of your students will be listed. I've got one, his name is a student, no doubt true. And the way that Jamf works is, once you turn the class on by tapping that class, all of the restrictions that you apply to your students will go on. So Over here, I've got allowed websites. And if I want my students to go to a website, I can tap that plus, and then I can tell how long I want that restriction for. Now, I will tell you that Jason and I have tested this and we don't find that the restrictions timing really works altogether too well at the moment. But let me show you how to add a website. So if you tap the add a website down at the bottom and you go to your Safari and you tap a website and copy that website, you can go back to your Jamf app and paste in that website. And when you do, hit return and then click apply and students will only be able to now get to the website that you have assigned. What's important to note about the websites is if you do like NHL.com, as I did, within NHL.com, you can go to all the links within it. So if you want to check any of the other sites within NHL.com, you're good. Uh, the same thing for Google. But what I would avoid doing is putting in a specific URL for a specific page because then the kids won't have the ability to really move around in Google Docs. Next, let's take a look at allowed apps, similar. So if you click allowed apps, the apps that the kids have on their devices show up. So if you want, for example, just the camera app to show up, if you tap camera, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap camera, and then if you want Safari, you slide down, they're alphabetical order, obviously. So if I slide down to Safari, and you could also use the search bar here at the top, I'm gonna to tap Safari, and I'm gonna apply. What will happen on the kids' iPads is that all of the apps go away aside from those apps that you just allowed. I'll show you what it looked like for a screenshot ahead of time. And then I'll show you what it looks like with a screenshot with just Safari and the camera. It eliminates all of the distractions for the kids. They cannot go to any apps that you did not choose. They literally will not appear on their thing. And then lastly, with the restrictions, same thing here. You can, all these are off by default, but you can customize your device 
of the student devices for your particular class. What Jason and I love about this is we won't have to make those huge building-wide decisions. We're all going to turn off AirDrop or we're all going to turn off the camera app because there are some teachers who want those things. And if we make those building-wide decisions, those teachers won't have the ability to run the classroom as they so choose. So if we can get everybody using Jamf and just use the devices and use the restrictions that you want for your classroom, we can avoid those building-wide decisions that sometimes create issues and conflicts. Once those are all put into place, the students are now restricted. And if you do all students, all students will have those restrictions. You can also restrict one particular student, or you can create a group within your classroom with certain students assigned to it. So let's say, for example, you have a kid, group of kids that are personalized and they're doing a personalized learning lesson where they're doing a video project. You want them to have a camera on where other students may not have that camera access. So you can allow certain groups to have certain things. Now let's take a look at the top. Uh, we're going to avoid this particular guy here. This is a remote class. Hopefully we won't be in a remote setting anytime soon. So uh, it just operates the same, but you can use, using Jamf, a remote class. Uh, this is your, this icon right here is your start the lesson. So when the kids walk in, if you turn that lesson on, all of the restrictions go into place. And with the three dots, the ellipsis, you can send a message to all of your students or to individual students, however you have them highlighted. You can also quickly turn off all of the limitations and restrictions. Let's now talk about lesson templates, and this is where Jamf is really very powerful. Apple Teacher is more of a when you're in class. Jamf is more of a planning for class. So if you go into lesson templates and you create one, really simply, I'm going to type in a test lesson here. I'm going to click create. And when I do, all of the options come up ahead of time. So if I'm planning for a lesson next week and I know that I need kids to use the NHL app and I need them to use the Safari app and I need them to use the camera and I need them to use a calculator, I can set all that up ahead of time. So a little bit of planning goes a long way when you're talking about classroom management in Jamf. When the kids come in, you're going to click start to, st uh, to start that lesson template for your particular kids. You can also rename, delete. And what I love about this is if you have a template that really works, feel free to share that with your PLC by hitting the share button. You can airdrop it or you can email that lesson template to all of your friends and peers. So if you find something that you really think works for your class and you think you want to share it, that's how you can do that. Once you click start, all of those restrictions go into place and you're good to go. All of those things will be in set every day. So it's not like you have to do a lesson every day. You can set that lesson for the week, for the month, and just have it ready to go and just keep turning it on and turning it off every day. With great power comes with great responsibility. So when you leave class, when your class is over, you may want to make sure you click that leave class. If you don't, restrictions will travel with the students. And I have a personal example about that. So my son was taking the PSAT and one of his teachers put restrictions on in the middle of his PSAT. It shut him down from his PSAT website and forced him into an app that the teacher needed to have for that particular class. So make sure you're really thinking about, are all of my kids present and all of the kids that I need to be here, here? And when they leave, I'm gonna click that leave class because if they go to an art class, for example, and they need to use some of the drawing tools and they need to use the camera and you didn't allow them, the students won't have that. And that particular teacher will be calling you with a little suggestion that you turn those off. So make sure that you hit that leave class. Um, clear restrictions and leave and you're good to go and then that resets your class. So that's the Jamf teacher app. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out, reach out to Jason and I. We'll be glad to assist you. Thanks.